Next, we want to go into popping balloons. So let's allow the player to pop the balloons. So we're going into something very interesting now. So I want you to pay a close, what, a close attention. I want you to click on the balloon sprite here. So here, I want you to click on the balloon sprite. And then I want you to click on the costumes tab, the costumes tab. So we have the costumes tab right here. How many of you have, have clicked that? So the costumes tab. So you can delete all other costumes or just leave one balloon costume. So I'm going to delete this other one. So delete number three. Also delete number two. So just leave one. Now we want to add a new costume. We want to add a new costume by painting it. So we are going to add a new costume called Bust. Add a new costume called Bust. So we're going to add a new costume by painting it. So click on, so click on this not click rather put your mouse on it and then you see paint so put, just put your mouse on it and you will see this thing pop up so you're clicking on the one that um, is called paint now i want you to click on this pen too because you're going to draw some things that look like a balloon that is popping like when you bust the balloon like how it looks now we're going to draw um, items like that. So change the color. So select your brush, change the color to black. So you can change the color to black. Yeah, so just move everything to the left to change the color to black. To change the color to black, we're going to rename our costume was B U R S T. Then let's draw. Let's try to make our pen, let's say five. Now let's draw. So we're drawing just some random um, marks. Um, so I need my eraser here. So we're drawing some random marks. Now show as if something, um, so I want it to not be too long. Okay, so random strokes. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but don't make it too long. Random strokes. So you're drawing it with your mouse. You're drawing it with your mouse. So many of us have been able to get that. So if you see it right here, um, so you can see it here, how it looks like. Okay, you can see it there. So once you have drawn that, so what you want to do is to click convert to bitmap. Let's click convert to bitmap or convert to vector. Any one of the two should be able to work. Now we're going back to um, our balloon, the right costume. So click on the right costume, balloon one. And now go back to your code. Go back to your code. So if your code is like this, 
right now, then you are um, in the right direction. Yeah, in the right direction. So what do you want to do next? You want it to be like when we click on a balloon, it should change costume to the bust costume. So how are you going to do that? It has to do with looks. So we're going to change something in the looks. So click on looks and then we're going to look for switch costume to boss. Switch costume to boss this. And we're going to bring it under when flat clicked. However, yeah. So however, this one that we're going to have here is switch costume to balloon 1A. So when flat is clicked, switch the costume to balloon what? Balloon 1A. Switch the costume to balloon 1A. How many of us have done that? Very good. Now, I want to change something real quick, which is I want the point in direction to come before is go to X. But it doesn't really matter, but yes, if you can. So how do, did I do that? I separated the code um, blocks. Okay, so you can separate the code blocks like this and then we arrange it the way we want it to be. So we have one flag click, switch costume to balloon 1A, then point in direction, a random direction, pick between minus 90 to 180, go to X, pick random, minus 150 to 150, Y, pick random, minus 150 to 150, change the color effect by, change the color effect, by picking a random between 0 to 200 and forever move one step if on edge bounce so that is where we have at the moment to allow the player now bust the balloon you need to add a particular code which is the code i'm going to teach you right now so you're going to click on events when this sprite is clicked, so just put it in any random direction there. When this sprite is clicked, switch costume. So want it to switch costume to bust. Okay, so when the flag is clicked, it started with the costume balloon. But now we want it like when we now click the balloon, what should happen? It should switch his costume to bust, but at the same time, I want want it to play a sound. So let's go to sound, start sound, pop. So you have pop. So when this sprite is clicked, meaning when this balloon is clicked, what should happen? Switch costume to bust and start sound. So we're going to test out our projects now. So can you pop the balloon to see if it works? So, um, so just try to check if it works as expected. So let's click on the flag. So we have our balloon moving around. If you click on the balloon, just use your mouse and click on the balloon. Does it pop? If yes, give yourself a round of applause because you just got that perfectly right so the balloon is moving around by the time we click on it it pops and it makes the sound pop it makes the sound pop now you need to improve on this code even if you've gotten it right so I want to improve on it so that when the balloon is clicked it shows the bust costume for a short time and it's then hidden so you see that right now we can still see the pop or the bust here like going or floating up and down it should not be so immediately i click on the balloon and it should pop it should just show that pop for a while and you should leave and it should leave so what we want to do is to um, go to events we want it to wait for just a few seconds sorry that go to control we want it to wait for just a few seconds so wait 0 0.3 seconds, are we there? Wait 0 0.3 seconds, and after that, we want it to hide. So 
when it comes to sound, we got sound under sound. When it comes to anything that has to do with showing, hiding, costume, changing the look, changing the color, it has its in looks. Then when it has to do with um, controlling the time, how you want it to repeat, that has to do with control. If you're still finding it difficult to understand where, what is, like what, which of this function of this code blocks represents, then it means you need to take the getting started with scratch programming course. So just pause this for a bit and go take that course so that you would understand where to find each of these code blocks, right? So you'll be able to follow me faster. But if you already understand all of these code blocks, then you are then you are on the right track. So now that we've deleted the balloon whenever it's clicked, you also need to add a show block to start at the when flag click. So now that whenever we pop the balloon, the balloon disappears or it hides, then we need to specify when we want the balloon to show, when we want the balloon to show. So we're going to looks as well, and we're going to bring in show on that when flag click. So when flag is clicked, we want it to show our balloon spike. Want it to show our balloon spike. So let's start from the beginning. So it's showing. Let's pop it exactly. So you see that almost immediately it it goes away. So let's see. We pop it. It shows briefly and it goes. Let's do that again. We pop it. It shows briefly and goes if you are doing excellently well if you have gotten with me at this point bordered well 